Hi, I'm Phil Parker. I've been working in the field of personal development and helping people to have fantastic, fulfilling lives for the last 30 years. And I've got some tools and tips I think you might really be interested in. If you're watching this, this is for you if you find yourself a little bit stuck in your life, or maybe you recognize you want more than what you've got. Maybe you want better relationships, you want more success, more happiness, better health. Or maybe you're somebody who feels an urge and a drive to help people and you don't quite know where to begin. Well, if you fall into any of those categories, this is definitely for you. And if you like it, it'd be great if you could help me out by just leaving a comment below this video to let other people know what you found so useful about this. Because it's really important for me for people to have access to simple, effective and powerful tools that allow them to make changes in their lives too. So if you can help out with that, that would be amazing. The technique I'm going to teach you today is something extraordinary from NLP. NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. That's the way we use our brain, the way we use our language, and how we quite often find ourselves running old patterns, old ways of thinking that we don't want to. And how do you get yourself back in charge of your brain? What I'd like you to do, first of all, is I'd like you to imagine a line that represents your future. Now, for most people, that line will kind of be in this direction, in front of them to some extent, maybe to the left or the right, often to the right, and occasionally behind you. It doesn't really matter where it is. Just notice, when you think about your future and you think about the line that represents that future, which direction does it go in? So mine goes in this direction. What I'd like you to do now is to notice what color is that line? Now, as you notice this, you'll find it will be a certain color, and you may not have even known that before. It's kind of intriguing. We've got these things, these lines that represent our future, our future timeline. We didn't even know we had it. Now what I'd like to do is to take the color and change it, because of course, this is your line, you can change it any color you like. Imagine you've got a remote control like you might have on your TV. Change it to any color you like. So have it orange, have it pink, have it green, have it gold, whatever color you feel makes it even more exciting as a future. How you can cycle through neons, any color, peacocks, rainbows, whatever it is that works for you, you're in charge. Nobody knows what would motivate you better than yourself. And that's a key thing that we'll be talking about in all the programs is how actually you already have access to so many skills. It's just about connecting them up. Next, I'd like you to think about this line. Which direction does it go in, in terms of up and down? Is it straight? Is it flat? Does it go in a waveform? Does it get wider as it goes? Does it get narrower? Check that out. Now, for most people, they'll find it gets narrow, narrower or wider as they look into the future. But that may not be the best thing for you, so check it out. What happens if you expand it so it gets wider as you go into the future? The reason we do this is very often when people think about a picture, a road would naturally get narrow as it goes into the, towards the horizon. But actually, very often, as you increase the width of it as it goes into the future, it seems like it's bigger, it's more full. Next thing I'd like you to do is think about what temperature does this have? This line, probably never thought about it before, but what temperature does it have? Is it cold? Is it hot? What would you like it to be? Very often when you change the temperature again, it just makes it feel more encouraging. For many people, warming up seems to give it that quality. And combined with this, what kind of lighting does it have? Is it like sunshine on a spring morning? Is it like a summer afternoon? Is it like a crisp winter day? What does that future look like? And what you'll find is by changing these things, which technically are called submodalities in NLP, these qualities, it changes how you feel about that future. That's extraordinary. You can feel really invigorated just by changing how you picture, how you imagine, how you're creating this future. You can also find if you move it around in different directions, that makes a massive difference. There's so many possibilities. This is just a starting point. But now you know about this future timeline, probably you also noticed there may well be a past timeline that you could work on as well, but that's for another time. For the moment, future timeline. Now that you know that it exists, what else could you do to make that extraordinary? When we have a great future, 
then our life starts to improve. But you may have already noticed there's a couple of little flies potentially in the ointment. There can be other people who might resist this feature, who might get in the way, who might create obstacles for us. And in the next edition, I'll be looking at some really simple ways so you can get over the resistance that some of those people, slightly negative or dissatisfied people in their lives who get in your way, how you deal with them. So tune into the next one and I'll cover that and tell you about how you can find out more about these skills and applying them simply and easily in your life. So once again, thanks for listening. Please leave a comment, it really helps to let other people know how interesting and fascinating this is. And I'll see you in the next one. You take care now. Mm -hmm.